options. Bitch, I'm big dog, all you others just some little puss. I pull up with the Rory, leaving with the Lambo. With your girl, she doing the limbo on my dick. What's up guys, welcome to the video. In today's video, I'll be talking about this Cervini hood that I have on my Mustang and why you should buy it. So in case you're new to the channel, my name is Garrett and this is my 2012 Mustang 5.0 that I got about six months ago back in June. Uh, at the time of this upload, it is January, so excuse the dirt on my car, it is pretty dirty. But I'm just gonna do a little walk around the hood, go up close and show you what it looks like and why you should get one. So as you can see, there is one large hood scoop on this hood. This thing is huge, let me tell you. I don't know if the camera and this footage is gonna do it justice on how big this hood is, but this thing takes up the majority of the hood and the inside view from it is just, it, it's pretty cool looking at it when you're driving down the road. So I did not put this hood on my car. I bought it like this. And again, it's a Cervini hood. I'm not sure the exact model name of the hood, but the model number of the hood is 1214. I'm not sure how much it costs or anything like that. So I'm sorry I can't give out any specific numbers on that. And I gotta hand it to them. Whoever painted it, they did a phenomenal job. First of all, they have the exact same color. It matches perfectly to the body. The color of this Mustang is Kona Blue. And it looks so good. I mean, they did a great job with that. And then not only that, but the transition between the dark blue and the black, it is seamless. You can barely feel it. They did a great job with this hood. There are a couple cracks here. Here and here. And then there's a couple chips of paint on the inside. And also right here. Pop the hood so you can see the inside. One thing you'll notice is this hood is so heavy. So when you first open up the hood, it says Cervini right there in the big bold letters. And then up top where it latches, it says one inch bolt. And right over here it says part 1214. So I'm guessing that's the model number. If you want to do a little research and look it up, try and find it. I'm sure you'll be able to find it if you typed in Cervini 1214 hood or something along the lines of that. And then there are some chips of paint right here. It's a bit dirty under here, but it's a good looking hood. Oh yeah, and I think this is the date when the hood was put on. March of 2012, I'm guessing. I'm not sure. I'm the third owner of this car. The last owner did not put this hood on. So the first owner must have. Really, really nice hood. Uh, I haven't seen any other Mustangs that have this hood. So it is kind of cool to have a one of a kind hood. You should definitely get it. I can't say it's well worth it because I'm not the one who bought it, but I would have definitely gotten this hood or something close to it if I was in the market for this hood. As you can see, or maybe not, you can see straight into the engine bay. There's no netting or anything, no mesh material. So air actually does go into the engine bay. 
And when you sit down, you have this very commanding view of the hood. <laughs> it doesn't take up a lot of uh, outward visibility, but it is definitely noticeable. And I love looking at it when I'm driving down the road. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. Hey, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching and taking time out of your day. It means a lot to me. And if you want to see more videos on my 2012 Mustang, and if you want to see anything specific, drop a comment down below and I'll do my best to make a video for you. Sorry I wasn't able to give any specific numbers on price and where the hood came from and where I got painted and all that. Again, I bought the car like that, so... I wasn't able to get any extra information on where it came from and all that. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and consider subscribing down below for more content like this on the 5.0 and content on a 300 SRT that the other co-founder Walker films. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.